apologize. Believe me, I do. I apologize. Honest and true. Now I know I was wrong. So I sing you this song. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because I know I'm torturing you guys and people probably already clicked away. But Miss Felicia went on an apology tour, everybody. I'm sorry! That's I'm sorry! That's enough, sorry. That's enough, dear. I'm That's awfully sorry. That's but first, let's go over the game, the TV show edition of Big Brother. The casuals edition of Big Brother. Am I the only one who, the way they hyped it up on the feeds and all the vlogs that Felicia going off in the veto speech, I just thought it was going to be something big. I thought it was going to be big and fantastical. All I know how to do is be honest. That's who I am. Sometimes people don't like to hear the truth, but the truth shall set you free. I mean, it was, she said what she had to say. I've watched you this whole game. He's thrown me and Mimi under the bus this week saying that we approached him about a Final Four. No, we didn't. But I thought it was going to be something more. I thought it was going to be more exciting. We did not approach him about a Final Four. He approached us about a Final Four. So I might go home Thursday and that's okay. Because you know what? I play a brutally honest Felicia game. And that is all that matters to me. She said what she had to say about Corey and, you know, and Corey's smug little face. Ugh, I can't stand Corey's smug little face. And I can't stand the edit of the show because there's so much show that's happening in the, in the house on the feeds that they don't show. What do they show? Oh, I just love when Corey talks about the Constitution. Like, really, is that what we're doing here? America, her name is America, Corey's in law school. Let's talk about the Constitution. That is not interesting, and there's so much show to be in story to be told. I mean, I really feel like CBS is just trying to make this a family show, and the live feeds, it's kind of different. It's, I mean, there's so much show to be talked about. Like, it's so much drama that can be put on the show. And the ratings should prove to you that what you're doing with this Corey America edit, it isn't working. It really, really sucks. I mean, they try to act like it is because they have all these fans on Twitter, which I just don't understand who on earth would root for these two as, as a duo. They are gross. They are cringe. They are ick, as Jared says. But, you know, um, Felicia said... You know, she was going to apologize. She was going to talk to them later in her rant to Saria and Mimi. And she did that. America and, and look, I'm, I'm honestly glad that if you were to do that, it was, it was towards me. A fun little moment. Do, you know, I get to be yelled at in a speech. That's kind of a bucket list item for me. And um, I do really respect you as, as a person, obviously, but as a player. Like, I think you know how much I care about the game and how hard I try to play. And, and you've been talking about, like, running around doing all these things. Like, I try to not, but, you know, I love it, right? And I feel like you are the only person who might love it as much as me in terms mm -hmm. of like the talking and the even like the nasty strategy parts of it. Like it's 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 a good time. And um And basically Corey accepted it. I'm never gonna view that kind of thing as anything but gameplay. Game. Right. And game. I think Jared was the same way, which is why I really appreciated him because we had another scuffle, right? And um I walked away from that knowing like he's gonna be a great friend for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. sure we're gonna be pals after this. But, yes. like, you know, like, who, who, you're who, gonna you know. be my fly guy. Yeah, and I know that. And um, <laughs> I just don't want you to think because it just kind of bugged me after the whole thing. You're like, if you don't want to give me a hug, I'm like, I don't want to give you a hug. Because Corey felt like this is like something on his bucket list that was checked off, like to get read to fills by someone in the house. Like he, this is like made his day. Like you're on the block. Um, like, at the end of the day, it, it's all fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I hope you know, like, I can take it, right? And I think you knew that because otherwise you probably wouldn't have gone to the same kind of aggression. There so you I know you respect me to a certain level in that. Um, in that the like, game. Of course. And then, you know, Felicia went on later to, you know, talk to America. Now, um, America early was mad at Corey because she thought that Corey just kind of bowed down to Miss Felicia. But, you know, he's like, I can actually move on from things, America. But Mar America thinks she just, you know, she's, you know, doing something in this house. She thinks she's, like, controlling 
the situation, but you know, she then went on to have a conversation with Felicia and what did she do? I ain't gotta tell you what happened next. It was not a personal attack at all. Everything I talked about was game. I did not talk about anything. Well when I say personal. when I say a personal attack, in other words, I'm I'm and yes, it's game. Yeah. But I mean what you brought up had nothing to do with what I was talking about at the veto meeting. Little girl. Okay. And so when I'm talking about Corey and that type of stuff, and then you say you're the one that started all of these rumors about two and three people alliances, and I don't even know what rumors you're talking about because I only mentioned one three-person alliance to you. Well, what this is all about? You got too much head to be stupid. <laughs> I mentioned no other alliances to you. So I was trying to figure out what are you talking about? And the alliance mm -hmm. that I mentioned to you, mm -hmm. I heard from somebody else. And I think I said that to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was like, where did you hear that from? Because mm -hmm. here's who I heard it from. Mm -hmm. And that was the piece that irritated me. Mm -hmm. So watch what you say. Watch what the f you say. And then you blew up the all girl thing. I'll be honest. And, and I told Corey this. I said, it wasn't about the all-girl alliance because mm -hmm. I knew that shit was never going to take mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. But it was really trying to see if me, being on the block, yeah. if I could get you to go get Cameron to take one Corey. of us down yeah. and put Corey up. Mm -hmm. This bitch. That was really what it was all mm -hmm. about. Because mm -hmm. you got to try what you can try. No, I know. And I said that too. I hadn't mentioned it to Corey at all by the veto ceremony. So that's why I think the first thing I mentioned yesterday was, you know, I hadn't said anything. So when you got up and sort of you know, it was, I know it was aimed directly at Corey. He is my closest ally, so I felt like I had to do something to, like, come to his defense. Yeah, you know why. You know, just, like, we do have a relationship outside of the game. So it was both mixed, right? Like, emotions get mixed up with the game, too. Uh, so that definitely contributed. I didn't want to escalate anything. So when it started going into, like, other little bits of conversation, I'm like, okay, let me cut back, you know, on what I'm saying. I don't need to mention any other conversation that was said weeks ago um, but guess what felicia you still are leaving the game unfortunately um they keep talking about a possible flip but we know how that goes every week in the house is a possible flip and it's only once has it happened and it did happen for felicia so i don't think it can happen twice felicia so um but later on here's something that was you know another ick moment if you will this will really get the feminists mad on social the conversation that Jag, Kim, and Matt were having about, you know, weighing the odds of who should leave the house. Should it be Mimi or should it be um, Felicia? What are the other things to consider? Felicia cooks really well. Yeah. Mimi's really fun to hang out with. Yeah. That's really what I know. And that is some, it's all about Dash, oh, Alexis, Mimi, I was just saying, and because Mimi has Elise. connections. Yeah. Mimi has Alexis. connections inside and outside the house. Like, we have to think about yes. that when it comes yes. to this. Game. I think that's more. Now, Felicia's a good cook. We need good meals. But Mimi has connections inside and outside the house. I don't know what inside, what connections she has inside the house. And I really don't know her outside connections. I just know that she works in politics. So maybe that's what he was speaking about. And they said somebody named Alexis and Elise and Dash. So I don't know who those people are. Was she? Was he talking about Damon Dash? Because Damon Dash don't have that many connections. He's trying to climb up to the top again. Important, honestly. Then <laughs> cooking, because we can cook up some pizza rolls. We can cook up we some really macaroni. We really can make bad ideas. We don't need we don't mean. And in the, the jury house. Bad ideas are in If I think about the most bad fun house, even in the jury house, Mimi's in there. She's in there. Oh. Over Felicia, mm -hmm. but of course I want good food, and that we do have to consider that. Sari cooks, Sari cooks, blue cooks, blue cooks. We eat, we eat. So I think we're good. <laughs> that you, know, funny. you know, it comes down to feed us. Like Felicia can cook well. We get rid of her, we won't have good meals. And then Jack's point is, you know, we can put some, you know, some pizza rolls in the oven, and that'd be good. But you know. Mimi's fun. She'll be fun in a jury house. And here's the thing, like, why, it seems like the trend has been for several seasons that let's get to jury. Let's get to jury. No, nobody's playing to win. 
Come on, six with your funk ass. I've been waiting for you all night. See, Felicia was playing to win, but now they're ending her game. I would even venture to say Heisen was playing to win. These people are playing to get to the jury house. And why? You should be playing to win. Like, do you get extra perks? Maybe they, I think they get an extra stipend if they make it to jury house. But it's like, you should be playing to win. Jury should not be your goal. Your goal should be $750,000 or the final two seats, which is $75,000 for the second place winner, which won't really amount to much. $75,000 is not life changing, especially if you are in the hole in debt. But anyhow, I just find it weird. And I am just, here's another thing about Felicia's apology. Something my father said to me once before. I was writing a letter to some people who had angered me, but at the end of the letter, I apologized. And my father said this clearly, and it stuck. Rest in peace, daddy. Um, if you're going to be mean, be mean. Don't apologize for it. All right, so like and subscribe and let that marinate. If you're going to be mean, be mean. Don't apologize for it because it just kind of negates what you just said. All right, drop it in the comments and tell me what you thought. Did you like Felicia's apologies to America and Corey? Or Corey and America? All right, till next time. Peace.